Hey, this is Colt. I'm bringing you another video for Onslaught and um, just in general, two really solid strand builds. I want you to really enjoy. I want you to take my dem links afterwards or copy my build how you see fit and uh, use these two. Obviously, Banner of War using 10 steps isn't a new build, it's an old build, but it's absolutely fun in this. I've had a little play with it with the weapons I'm using, and I'm going to be using an Assassin's Cow Hunter later on in the video. So we will jump on with the um, build for the Titan, which is obviously the Banner of War. Short Barricade Shield, Strafe Lift, I love that maneuverability. You only have one super with this Titan to worry about. We're going to have Frenzy Blade, it's the only one that you have on here. Then we're going to be using the Grapple, it's the Banner of War thing to do. All those melees, finishes and sword kills we're going to be getting. Banner of War is going to be going crazy. Into the fray, destroying a tangle, casting a super, grants wave of mail for nearby allies. And while you have wave of mail, your melee regeneration rate is greatly increased. Then you've got your Banner of War. Melee, um, finisher or sword um, gives you Banner of War. Um, and it heals your nearby allies. And you're going to be using a thread of transmutation um, while you've got wave of mail. Weapon final blows give a tangle, thread of ascent, activating your grenade ability, reloads your equipped weapons and grants bonus airborne effectiveness. Then you've got the thread, thread of fury, damaging targets with a tangle, grants melee energy, which we're going to be needing a lot of. And finally, we are going to be going for the wave and mail. Um, when you pick up orbs of power and it just makes you super tanky on top of the banner of war um, you're going to be ready to take on the world really solid build i love it so with this we're going to be using quicksilver storm i love it because of the outcomes this weapon has um, obviously it's strand we're going to be buffing those strand weapons up on top of that, landing several precision hits gives you a homing micro rocket. And if you get several hits of that micro rocket, you'll get a grenade loaded into the Quicksilver and you long hold um, your square button and it will load it into a grenade launcher. And that stacks as well. So you'll get several grenades in which you can use. And they're absolutely solid against tormentors and champions the other weapon we're going to be using is the dragon cult sickle i use this on my other build with hunter as well um, and you can see slice casting possibility allows this weapon to sever targets on hits for a brief duration up to a maximum number of targets so this thing's really cool so you get in that sever plus this has surrounded but this weapon gains bonus damage when three or more enemies are in close proximity so with this horde mode um, you tend to have a lot of ads especially with champions you get ads gathered around them so you're going to be doing a lot of damage with that and the Syntheseps have the biotic enhancement when you're surrounded, gain increased melee and super damage, as well as improved weapon handling and reload speed. Um, I've set, set this up to be super tanky. You get your melees back nice and quick. You get your um, grapple back super quick. I'm not going for the one-two punch, uh, but... Well, I just, I just get bored of doing that. Um, I just like one that's a mixture of gunplay and um, melee and grapple. So I like a, a good mixed play on this. You can see here what I've used. Um, you can see on the helmet that I've got everything for strand siphon. So because we're going to be getting a lot of um, strand kills, you're going to be getting the orbs dropping on that. Then we're going for heavy handed, lots of melee, you're going to be getting orbs back on that. And then everything else is basically going to be procking your recuperation, um, your class ability, grenades with the armor charges. And that's how I'm running this. And you can see all the artifact mods on here as well. Running the two strand artifact mods from the season is a necessity with this build. Absolutely solid. And in the legs, you've got everything working off of your all pickups. And then I've got the double outreach because I'm using the uh, melee a hell of a lot. 
and that is it. It's a very, very simple build. Oh yes, powerful, powerful attraction. Pop your small barricade uh, when you've got a ton of orbs on the ground and he will zip them all to you. So it's super easy and using the small barricade as well is a lot less impactful than anyone else than running that big tower in the middle of combat with everyone else. So you've got the unraveling orbs, picking up an orb of power, grunt strand weapons, um, your severing rounds, or your um, horde shuttle here, damaging unravel targets. Um, you're going to get tangles for days with this as well. Absolutely love this build. It is super fun. Um, run with it. Like I said, I, I haven't touched this for a little while because I got bored of using the Banner of War Titan, um, but I'm not so bored anymore. Like I said, these ward modes are what this thing really was designed for. Um, take on Tormentors, super easy with it. Take on Champions, super easy with it. Look after your fire team and get all the way through the Onslaught waves. Um, really good, solid build. Um, love it, it's lots of fun. Ask me for the dim link in the comments below for this. I will give it um, for all of the, those new players out there. Um, this is a good introduction to Banner of War. I've got other setups for the Banner of War, um, which you can ask me for, and um, I will hand them out to you via dim. Okay, enjoy the rest of this Titan footage, and I will be back when we hit the Hunter. So this is my Hunter, um, this Hunter was so much fun, um, I preferred it to the Banner of War Titan, I even prefer it to my Swarm of Warlock, um, love it, I think you guys will love it too, and um, we'll take a look at this build, and we'll see what we have here, obviously you've got the Silk Strike Super, swinging that, um, that lethal nasty rope around, you can straight shot it or you can just do large area damage with it and it does a lot of damage i like using the gambler's dodge because i get my melee ability back um, with this it's nice to practice catching your um, throwing blade out of the air when you get it back because it gives you a lot more damage and it refunds a lot of melee energy i like my triple jump here as you can see here the threaded spike throw this and catch it on the comeback it's absolutely fantastic um it severs targets like I said, you get returning melee energy for each target you hit, and uh, when you catch it, it'll increase the amount of melee energy that you actually get back. 
I like running this with the grapple. Sometimes I like grappling in and throwing that thing out um, into a group of ads. Um, you get used to the sound of the catch <laughs> when you get it. It's absolutely sorted. Um, Widow Silk, the um, you get an additional grenade charge and your grappling hook creates a grapple tangle um, at the grapple point. Um, super cool, but mainly we're going to be using the Whirling Maelstrom uh, to stronger tangle with this. Um, basically, we'll send a Whirling Maelstrom, um, a spinning tangle everywhere, and it throws out strand fibers and um, also gives off unraveling projectiles. It is nasty in groups, nasty against champions. Uh, Thread of Binding, uh, super um, hits have uh, Suspending Burst and Thread of Transmutation, the Wave of Mail and the Weapon Damage. Um, you're going to go for the Propagation. Powered melee final blows grant your strand weapons unraveling rounds. So we are setting up pretty nasty here. And then you've got your thread of ward, um, warding, which is picking up those orbs of power. Um, just the same as in the Titan. This is a super fun build. You can be using the quick silver storm, um, like we did in the previous build. Um, the weapon setup's going to be um, pretty much the same. You'll see me using Summoner, and that's because on the artifact I have the um, solar aspects, or not aspects, the uh, seasonal um, mods on there for solar as well, so I can get radiant. Um, sometimes I like to mix it up a bit, but in the footage you're mainly going to see Quicksilver and the uh, Dragon Cult Sickle. I really love this sword. It's super good especially when you're surrounded and having Slice on it and taking those champions down with it. I'm going to show you it again. It's fantastic. Use it. Like I said, Dim Link this build. It's fantastic, especially with the Assassin's Cow. Vanish vanishing Execution. Um, super strong. Um, I never used to like the Assassin's Cow. But um, my wife and a gaming partner at Thieve. She has her own channel, which is absolutely amazing. She used this a hell of a lot. Uh, powered melee, final blows, grant invisibility and restore a portion of health and shields, finishes and final blows against more powerful targets, increase the duration of the invisibility and the amount of health and shields restored. This thing's really nasty, especially when you're throwing out um, your threaded spike. Um, you're getting the invisibility, you can maneuver quite nicely and I love dodging, getting that melee, getting that invisibility. You can see here um, on the Assassin's Cow, I've set up everything for um, my strand weapons because I'm using a lot of strand weapons and then you can see I've got the firepower um, for the grenade and I've also got the melee as well. Um, all bringing me back my abilities through orbs. Um, I've got the armor charge mods on there, but I'm not actually using anything. They were just sitting in the slots, so I don't use armor charge for this. I just left them there. You can see the unraveling orbs to get the unraveling rounds. Um, I've got the dragon's bite, chance to suspend with um, breaking shields on enemies. And I've got the horde mod, which is the horde shuttle, which you saw in the previous. Razor precision, well, radiant precision. Final blows cause combatants to ignite, and that's why I use the summoner sometimes. Just want to switch it up and run two autos. Some people will criticize me for that, but I don't care. I like it, it works. Okay, guys, enjoy the rest of this footage. Do watch it through because you'll see how this fully performs. Um, I will give a dim link for it, so ask, ask, ask for those dim links. Enjoy this video, and what I'm going to be doing in the next one is I'm going to be covering my strand um, warlock and I'll be doing it against my behemoth titan with hoarfrost which are two very 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 nasty builds and very enjoyable and very easy to set up and that's the thing with my builds easy to set up like I said just ask for them <laughs> put it in and you're ready to go if you don't like the uh, the build just let me know and give me some feedback to what you think of it and um, I will see you in the next video until then, I will see you later. Enjoy.